Um, hey everyone, I'm Carly and I'm on the phone with Lucas Till, who we all know and love as Travis from Hannah Montana the movie. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Fantastic. So, um, speaking of Hannah Montana the movie, can you tell me a little bit about how the audition process was to, for getting tr the role of Travis and what that was like for you? <laughs> yes, uh, it's actually pretty funny. Uh, I, it went down like, uh, Hannah Montana, okay, alright, I guess I got nothing else to do this Friday. I'll go put myself on tape at my agent's office and uh, not expecting anything to come out of it. And a few days later, <clears throat> got a call saying that uh, I was going to Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, then after I went to Nashville, the day next day, they said I was flying to Los Angeles to screen test with Miley. And uh, I remember I couldn't eat that whole week before. <laughs> and then, well, I tested with Miley and found out I got the part. So what was it like, your initial like meeting with Miley? Uh, well, I was very nervous. I was expecting, you know, a little bit of attitude because I mean, she kind of she kind of could if she really wanted to, yeah. uh, being as big as she is, and as she was, it she was just a sweet, normal girl. And she's like, "Hi, I'm Miley," and bouncing all around like she always does, and uh, and she just made the audition process that much easier. So, wh where were you like when you first found out that you got the role? I was in my hotel room. Uh, the same day as when I auditioned, and uh, I remember, uh, you know, doing some, trying to do some backflips. I'm not r really good at backflips, and I hurt myself, <laughs> so it wasn't really the smartest idea. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> so you're working on a new um, movie with Jackie Chan? I that is correct. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, yeah, I, I can tell you a little bit about it, uh, <laughs> but it's... Let's just say it's a very different role. I'm a Russian spy instead mm. of uh, a cowboy in Tennessee this time. <laughs> and uh, I get, uh, I, well, let's just say I do my own stunts in the movie, in the movie with Jackie Chan, who was my idol as a kid. Uh, so yeah, dream come true. I get to mark that off my bucket list. <laughs> so did you have to do any martial arts for that? Yeah, uh, kind of. I mean, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I don't want to say too much, but at the same time, I also don't want to sound really lame because uh, I didn't have any training. I just had a rehearsal. Mm -hmm. They were telling me what to do as opposed to really uh, getting any martial arts training. Okay, so since you can't really tell us much about it, can you tell us uh, around when that this movie should be coming out? <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Oh, uh, leaving I mean, us all think, in suspense. Like, not because I don't know personally myself because I'm irresponsible, but because I don't think that there is a release date yet. That's why. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you anyway. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, sorry. How much help? <laughs> so the Hannah Montana DVD is actually coming out on August 18th. Um, since we don't really know what the special features are going to be on it yet, uh, can you tell if there was going to be a blooper reel, do you have any like specific moments that you can think of that would probably make it on there? Yes. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, there's a, there's a bunch of stuff. But specifically, I remember uh, Miley got a hold of a fart noise-making machine. <laughs> and uh, it was turning, I don't remember what, I think it's like after after the date. Well, anyways, it's supposed to be a real tender scene, and she grabbed her watch for that scene while she's in bed. And uh, started making, well, you'll, you'll see. Just, just go and buy the DVD and watch the bloopers for that specific part. So, um, right now I actually have people sending in t questions from Twitter. And, uh, first of all, they want to uh, know, do you have a Twitter? Alright, I am working on getting my name back because I, I do not currently have a Twitter. Hopefully within the next week or so I will. Okay. But, uh, yeah, someone, there's a bunch of fake ones out there right now. Yeah, They're I've seen about me, five. You know, really talking to me. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully I'll get my name back from them soon. I'm trying to work something out with Flip right now. <laughs> okay, so Annette wants to know, if you could guest star on any reality show, what would it be and why? Oh, man. I normally dislike reality TV uh, to the utmost degree, but... I would love to be on that show, Robin Big. I don't even think it's, I think it's just syndicated now. I don't even think it's, they really make any more episodes. But have you ever seen Robin Big? Uh, I've, I've seen, I've seen some. 
Yeah, that that means no, you haven't, but you're kind of familiar with the show. Yeah, <laughs> that's what, that so, is what it means. <laughs> weird. Yeah, all right, I got you. I got you. I know what you mean. It's <laughs> awesome because they just go on adventures. Rob and Big just go on adventures all the time because they have nothing else to do because they're so bored. And there's nothing pretentious about it. It's just good fun. I want to be on that show with them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, does, <laughs> everyone wants to know if you still know the moves to the hoedown throwdown. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yes, I still do know the moves to the hoedown throwdown. Kind of. There, I like, I have to pee. Every time I do it, I have to think about it. But, yes, I do remember the dance. <laughs> okay, um, Letty126 wants to know what your, is your favorite song? My favorite song? Yes. I I don't like superlative questions. <laughs> We're going to give you all, you know, a couple of them. All right, okay. One of my favorite songs, ooh, actually, Careless Whisper by Caesar right now is my favorite song. Okay. Never heard of it. I'm going to have to look that one up. <laughs> oh, please. Yeah, you better look it up. You need to know Caesar. <laughs> Um, MCC Soccer Chick wants to know if you have any hidden talents, and what are they? Well, if you had got me 500 interviews ago, you might find some hidden talents, but I think I've revealed them all by now. Oh. Uh, but I, well, hmm, let me think of something I haven't told anybody. Well, actually, this isn't really that hidden, but Miley kind of, uh, taught me how to do this. But pop, all right, I, I, I pop my knuckles just like any other guy does. Mm -hmm. But uh, Miley started popping my knuckles in really weird ways. And um, and now I'm, I kind of, I do it all the time. And people think it's disgusting. And, I, and it's a habit now. And I don't even realize I'm doing it. And I'm popping my neck back, joints, my finger joints in all weird ways while I'm at dinner. And yeah, it's kind of disgusting. <laughs> Thanks, Miley. Thanks a lot. That was real cool of you. <laughs> so um, if you could... Uh, Slamo wants to know if you could work with anyone, male or female, who would it be? Male or female. Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke. That's who I want to work with. That's a good... I know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Seems like I haven't known anything. Um, <laughs> um, Spencer Lauren wants to know what made you want to become an actor? Well, uh, I really never knew that acting was really an option. <laughs> I, was, I just liked entertaining people. And then, you know, just there's some acting school around where I lived and I started going, taking classes, got an agent there. That agent got me my agent in LA and now I'm doing the Hannah Montana and now I'm talking to you about doing the Hannah Montana movie. <laughs> so, uh, like, you know, it was just a steady climb from there. It wasn't really like, oh my, well, once I did start acting, I, I realized, man, I want, I want to do this the rest of my life. This is what I want to do. But before that, it was never, it just kind of fell into place. Mm -hmm. um, Kristen Gregory wants to know, how do you feel knowing that millions of girls love you? <laughs> well, I, okay, I'll take your word for it, but I'm not seeing these millions of girls because I would love to see these millions of girls loving me, but I'm not feeling the love. Oh, come on. Are you serious? I, okay, I do get emails on my website, and I do get fan mail, and I do feel the love, but I don't know about millions, because I, you know, I'm still, I'm still a single guy, so I don't know where that's coming from. Okay, I'll, I guess I'll take your word, but not seeing how that's possible. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, let's see. Um, what was it like working with Miley? It was, it was, wow. I can't, I'd have to, there'd be an hour long e-channel special about working with Miley, but uh, in a few words, it's, it's fun and exciting and entertaining. And whether she's even deliberately trying to entertain you or not, she's going to. So uh, you're always in for, uh, in store for a show. <laughs> you're around her. So Hannah wants to know, um, how does it feel not being nominated for a Teen Choice Award? What? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Uh, Hannah wants to know, how does it feel being nominated for a Teen Choice Award? Uh, pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> Except, I mean, we're up against what the fierce competition. There's no way. I mean, the only other... All right, Hannah Montana's up against 
you know, I think High School Musical. I don't, I don't even know. But I know, all I know is I'm, against, I'm up against Zac Efron, okay? Oh, that's, that's never going to happen. But I still am honored, you know? It's still, it's still cool to get recognized for your work. Yeah, true. Um, let's see. What would, if you could film a movie about anything, like, what would you want to be? Ooh. Ooh. Um, I don't know. I have, uh, there's so many different things. Let me think about that. Oh, uh, I got it. The Life, the Life of Tupac. I think that'd be a cool movie. <laughs> Only because <laughs> uh, I'm by, I, I love Tupac. I listen to his music all the time. So I think they just made Notorious about Biggie Smalls. Why not make one about Tupac? And you would want to be Tupac? <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Oh, you want, you're you asking what I would want to be in. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely couldn't pull that off. But, uh, oh, well, that's a different story. What would I want to be in? Um, I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. They could remake The Crow. I could be, I could be that. I don't know. Maybe. Um... Chris Ryan fans wants to know if you could visit anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? I would want to go to Greece because I was really into Greek mythology when I was younger and I still am, but uh, Greece is just beautiful looking and uh, I want to go see where it all, all the Greek mythology started. That's, that's, I would love to go to Greece. They want to know what your favorite color is. Oh, I don't have one. I don't think that, I mean, it just depends on what day it is. I could like black today. I could like silver tomorrow, maybe even red. <laughs> okay. Well, everyone wants to say that they love you. All Everyone's saying they oh. love you so much. Those millions of fans that love you, even though you may not see it. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate the. Uh, I appreciate you trying to convince me. <laughs> <laughs> and I personally want to thank you for taking the time to do this interview. So thank you so much. Oh yeah, sure thing. And is there anything you want to say to your fans before we go? Yeah, go buy Hannah Montana on DVD and Blu-ray August eighteenth, right? Yeah. Yeah. Great. <laughs> thank you All so right. much.